Hey guys, Dan Home, and back with another Watcher of Realms video. Today I'm on my phone again, as you can see. I'm still up north uh, for hunting, so I don't have my PC or any of that. So no thumbnail, all that good stuff. But okay, today we're talking about Guild War. Let's go. Uh, it opened up today. Let's uh, check uh, Guild Boss Rewards real quick. Um, what happened? Where are my Guild Boss Rewards? Okay. I must have already grabbed them. Okay, never mind. Must have already grabbed those. Let's go. Okay, what do we got going on? So do your training if you haven't already. Grab the stuff there. Battle phase has begun today. So I am fighting another guild called Notorious. Um, and let's see what we got going on. So march to battle. Let's see what the interface looks like. Okay, personal attempts. I get eight attack attempts. Let's see how it works. Um, so it wants me to attack this one here. Can I attack any of them? I can attack any of them. Okay, so some are burning, whatever that means. The ticket that means they've been attacked already. Okay. Okay. Um, do I want to attack one that's already been attacked? That's the question. Um, what kind of details do we have here? Is there anything I can read? Um, is there anything I can read? Anything I can read? Uh, every two weeks... In Guild War, um, offense and defense, prep time, battle phase. Okay, running from Monday to Saturday in the second week. The battle phase consists of three rounds of matches. Each round lasts for two days, during which guilds are matched with other guilds for intense battles. Commanders will receive Guild War command swords, enabling them to command demon soldiers to attack the opposing guild garrisons, destroying the soul core guarded by the enemy team reduces both their HP and fortifications HP. The winner of each round is determined by the guild with the highest remaining total percentage of HP. Okay. Um, Demon soldiers are exclusive. You can get them from there, blah, blah, blah. Affiliate them, upgrade them, upgrade them. Do I have any duplicates or anything I can upgrade? Does not look like it. Could upgrade blue ones, but I'm assuming the purple ones are better even than an upgraded blue, I would assume. Okay, so what are we doing? This is ours. Uh, probably attack something that's burning, I would assume. This one's almost dead. So we'll let someone else finish that off. Let's just see what we're doing here. Um, abomination broke here. Valeria. Okay, let's attack um, multiple tanks and then some AoE. Okay, let's attack this one, I guess. Let's go team one. I would like to start with a tank, then maybe a healer, then maybe some speedy boys, then... Um, You can use flying, and if they don't have anyone who can attack... Um, so flying should go right over a tank, I would assume, right? I don't know, that's going to be interesting to see. Um, you could also use marksman to attack, but he's got tanks and healers like crazy, so probably better off overwhelming. So let me just try to do that. Can I continue to add people? No, I can't. Okay. Um, I can do multiple teams. This is receiving. The demon soldiers in wave one have a fixed amount deploy interval 10 seconds. It's weird because it says 10, 18, 22, 21. None of those are 10 seconds besides the first one. Okay. Uh, what's this do? Oh, okay, here we go. So you can see their layout. What does this do? So you can see my demon soldiers. Check by rarity. Oh, if you click stuff, it just deletes everything you ever did. That's weird. All right. Do we want to do tank, healer, overwhelm, damage? Is that what we're doing? Let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try that. Um, all right. Let's see what happens. Let's see how this goes. Not sure what to expect here. Air might be interesting, though. 
See, he, do he doesn't have much air attack besides Hatsut, so if I used air, it would only be Arrogance and Hatsut who could even attack it. So that would be interesting. Alright, so we got the healers right after. Oh, the healers just get wrecked very quickly, though. Okay, we were able to overwhelm him, though. Yeah, I like uh, using a lot. The reason I used that was because he had two fighters, right? So two fighters can only block um, four enemies. So if you overwhelm them with lots of enemies, then you should be able to get through there. So we got some healing, a little bit of damage. I did some damage to them, but I don't know if that stays because they had healers, right? All right, well, that worked. That's good. So can I just attack the same person yet again with the same team? I can. I can just continuously attack the same person? Okay. Um... Ah, okay. I can just continuously attack. Interesting. This is kind of cool. I mean, it's different. I've never seen anything like this, right? In a gacha game. It's definitely different. Okay, so you can get a couple little dudes in there. Hey, we got one or two through. Yeah, we got one through now. Oh, we actually killed Arrogance. Interesting. Okay, now those all got through for sure. Okay. So I defeated him. Not really. Okay, I got 30 points off of him. You can attack them a lot to, like, actually kill them. Okay. So, I guess that I just continuously burn this person down, right? Unable to match anymore. Okay. Because I beat him three times. Okay. For every commander, each team can only attack two times. Okay, so that's how that works. Alright, so now I have to go find someone else that I need to burn down. This dude's already dead. So he's been defeated. Does that mean I can... If one of those is defeated, can I attack here? Oh, I can already attack the garrison. Do I have to burn down every one of these? Or do I just go right towards this? That's the question I have. Okay, so here we have... One tank... Okay, so I can attack this person already. Um, oh, it's a totally different layout. Wow, interesting. Okay, so they have a lot more opportunities to attack. Um, interesting. Okay, so they're using mostly piercers. I don't know that that matters. If I use different team... What can I... Can I like find some info about these guys here? What do we got going on? Do they have, like, armor types? Yeah, common. Okay. So if I click common, all types. Okay. So if I want to... So I would want heavy armor. I would want heavy armor. I think my tank is heavy armor, right? I would hope. Heavy armor. Okay. So I want heavy armor. My healer is what? Light armor, probably. Let's see. Light armor. Okay. So the healer is going to go down quickly. I could maybe put two defenders. I don't have another defender. I don't have another epic defender. Okay. I'd have to use a rare defender, and I don't know that I want to do that. How do I level these up? Probably from copies, I assume. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Let's use one attack here. Um, and let's see what happens. Let's see the garrison here. We got Robo. All all right, so we got Araka, we got Olag with Olag's Wall. Olag's Wall is good, you get an additional block. Um, so we throw the tanks, then we throw the healers. Their marksmen are going to take my healers down probably pretty quickly. He's attacking that way? Interesting. Okay, we got the healers in there. Okay, the healers are doing good. Now we got everyone else coming through. These guys hopefully can overwhelm a little bit. Oh, we got two through. Oh, man, close. Okay. 
We almost got it. We almost got it. We just needed one more to get through. Damn. That was really close. Okay. So that was close. We didn't quite make it. I didn't do much farming. Um, I should have probably farmed. Oh, we still get some points off because I got two of the three. Oh, okay. So it's 30 points. So it's 10 points for each one you get through. No. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I got two through, so... Three to one. Now, if I attack again, does it stay at one level, or does it go back to three? I think it goes back. Okay, it goes back. Okay, I see. So I did some damage, but I didn't clear that one. That was one of my attacks. Okay, interesting. This is interesting. I don't know. I'm assuming that... I don't know this, but... If I take down one of these, does it reduce the power of the garrison? I don't know. HP, battle record. What's this get tell me? Select an undefeated garrison team to attack. Destroy the soul core to lower the HP of the corresponding team and their fortification. Destroy three soul cores to claim victory. A team with zero HP is defeated and cannot be attacked again. Okay. I still don't quite know. I'm assuming that taking out these towers maybe reduces. Let's see. HP, 240, 336. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it weakens them or what it does. I, like, what's the point of attacking these? Does it even matter? And there's not a lot of information I don't really know. Comment below if you know on how that goes. But okay, that's going to be it for the video. Um, just wanted to go through and check and do some attacks and see how everything works. Um, it looks interesting so far. We got our enemy here, Notorious. Okay. Okay. All right, well, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like and the subscribe button. Have a great day, everyone. See you guys.